Ka ta 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 Legend tells of a great eagle flying silently through the night sky. As its spirit moves its powerful wings across the heavens, the moon is revealed to us, and the eagle. The eagle has told of a time when we will soar upon his wings and visit Earth's distant brother. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. The dawn of the space age had many of its beginnings in the Santa Susana Mountains of Southern California. For nearly 35 years, thunderous sounds have echoed through these hills. But it wasn't thunder. It was the roar of rocket engines unleashing their enormous power at Rocketdyne Santa Susana Field Laboratory. Since the day we powered John Glenn into orbit in 1962, we've remained a major player in America's space program. Today, SSFL is involved in many different propulsion, energy, and engine testing programs. By using our experience from the past, we are beginning the history of tomorrow. Situated on 2,700 acres between the San Fernando and Simi Valleys, SSFL is a safe, self-contained location for testing. Santa Susana also provides an important safe haven for wildlife, protecting them from ever-expanding housing developments. During the 1950s, Rocketdyne developed engines for the United States Air Force. This experience would lead to one of the greatest accomplishments of all time. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. The challenge was given, and Rocketdyne was selected to build the engines that would place men on the moon. Five F-1 engines lifted the giant Apollo spacecraft into outer space. Once in orbit, another Rocketdyne engine, the J-2, propelled the astronauts on their way to lunar orbit. And when the time came to return, it was Rocketdyne who powered the astronauts safely off the moon. In the early 1980s, America's space shuttle roared to life. And once again, NASA had called on a company they knew could deliver the goods. The Space Shuttle Main Engine, or SSME, was the world's first reusable rocket engine. Testing began at the COCA test stand in the mid-1970s and continued through 1988. During those years, more than 325 test firings were performed. Knowledge acquired led to many design improvements. After every firing, technicians inspected the engine to determine engine performance. Their efforts helped ensure engine reliability. The Santa Susana Field Laboratory is involved in much more than power for spacecraft. We also research energy programs for people here on Earth. In 1966, the United States Department of Energy established the Energy Technology Engineering Center, or ETEC. Its primary mission is testing energy systems in safe, controlled facilities. Substantial amounts of electricity are needed to test power systems. Through ETEC's cogeneration power plant, electricity is produced for testing and local community power. ETEC's seismic lab provides information on how power plant structures may react during an earthquake. 
The state-of-the-art chemistry and metallography labs provide complete analytical services for all E-Tech facilities. Serving clients such as the United States government, hospitals, universities, and foreign countries, E-Tech has earned a reputation as a safe, dependable organization for energy systems testing. In many ways, Santa Susana is similar to a small city. We have our own medical, security, logistics, maintenance, and fire department staffs. Once a year, LA County, LA City, and Ventura County fire departments train with Rocketdyne personnel. Roger, Tango, X-ray, Charlie 2 on final approach. After tanking, we will proceed to grid 3, 7, and drop on the fire break. If a fire breaks out in a nearby community, Santa Susana provides an excellent staging area to replenish helicopter water tanks. There's much more to Santa Susana than testing large engine and energy systems. Many smaller departments do work that is vital to Rocketdyne's research and test programs. The Advanced Propulsion Test Facility conducts research for rocket engine components of the future. CTL-3 experiments with lasers to see how they react under different test conditions. Santa Susana literally uses thousands of pieces of equipment. So our instrumentation laboratory maintains computers and other test hardware in top flight condition. A spacecraft is a complicated piece of machinery requiring elaborate electrical wiring. Here in the electrical manufacturing area, technicians carefully weave electrical cables into the wiring harness. STL-4 tests new concepts in lightweight, high-thrust engine designs. Engines developed here are used to maneuver spacecraft while in orbit. The people who work on the hill truly appreciate the natural beauty found here. From the cool shade of an oak grove to a spectacular view of Simi Valley, Rocketdyne keeps a watchful eye on how our environment is treated. Through the dedicated efforts of an environmental staff, ground and surface water are constantly tested for even the slightest amount of contamination. On-site analysis enables Rocketdyne to have the most accurate data available to ensure safe operating conditions. The natural ruggedness of Santa Susana has provided an excellent location for movie making. Many westerns and television shows have filmed here over the decades. But these lands have real history in them as well. For centuries, the Chumash Indians called this area home. Today, Rocketdyne takes an active interest in protecting these historical remnants of a time that once was. And what of the future? What will our nation accomplish in outer space? One thing is certain. Rocketdyne is looking forward to what tomorrow might bring. At the Bravo test stand, various engine components are tested to determine performance and reliability before they are installed in the engine. A new state-of-the-art facility for expendable launch vehicles recently opened on the hill. Engines used in Delta and Atlas rockets are assembled here, then they're sent to a test stand. Before any engine is delivered to a customer, it undergoes a thorough testing regimen. When a company receives a Rocketdyne engine, it faces. All pressure's okay. Board pressure okay. Lock, lock, search, pop, lead valve closed. Clips on. The clips on. Tapes on. Tapes are on. Cameras on. Cameras on. Launch start. Launch start. years, Rocketdyne has had an active role in our nation's exploration of outer space. Through facilities like the Santa Susana Field Laboratory, we will continue on this great journey. 
new and exciting discoveries await the people of this planet. Through hard work and dedication, Rocketdyne will contribute to the history of tomorrow.